Welcome back to my channel. In this tutorial, I'm going to be teaching you how to cartoon A8 in Adobe Photoshop CS6. So if you haven't subscribed to this channel, please click on the subscription button below and also click on the bell notification icon so that you will be notified anytime I drop a new video. So in this in this channel, I'm going to be dropping tutorials on how to cartoon your pictures in Photoshop, how to make some manipulations in Photoshop. So if you don't want to miss out from this offer, you need to subscribe now. Thank you. So before you can cartoon a picture in Adobe Photoshop 6, there are some things you want to do right now. So first thing you want to do is that you want to open this background here, you unlock it. And so you over come here to open a new layer. If you don't want to use the short command key, come here and then press new layer. So the new layer we're going to be making now is called lines. So that's where we're going to be working out our line art, everything relating to lines in this tutorial will be done on this lines layer. So our color, let's make this foreground color black and then the background color should be white. Or well, it can be any color but you know I'm going to be switching between black and white, black and white for the meantime. So let's get started. Um, let's set our brush settings. So come over to your brush, you can simply press B and then you right click and then select this brush. This is the brush I'm going to be using for the sake of this tutorial. And then the pixels and the size is about, let's, let's set it to 8. eight. So um, also you need to check your image resolution. Image size, okay, change resolution to 300. And then the eyes, okay, it's okay. Nice. So it's okay. So we have this now. Next thing I want to do now is that I want to start our line art. So the line art is going to be done on this lines layer. Don't make a mistake of working it out on your layer, on your picture layer. It's going to ruin it. So what I want to do right now is that I want to use our pen tool to make the line art. So this tutorial is for those that use that want to use mouse to cartoon their images in Adobe Photoshop. You know, when you're using a graphics tab, it's easier. Um, but for the sake of this tutorial, we are not using a graphics tab. We are using um, we are using a mouse. So without any further ado, let's get started. So let's start with the scarf of this lady. Okay. You need to make sure you get in the smooth selection of the image and don't forget we are making a cartoon head right here so we need to find something to do here okay i guess this works out very well so with this selected now you just right click and then come down to few parts so you want to check this box here and then click color and then you know the color you want to fill it's black so you want to fill black and then it's okay so let's see what we have here cool so let's go for this Okay, now let's just let the head. Okay. Oh, let, let, let's make it like Let's come down to stroke parts. Don't check this box now. This stimulates pressure. Make sure it's not selected and make sure you are on brush. Then it's okay. So we can see what we have here. So let's make this, let's select these glasses. So 
so your parts let's look for some other attack now is that I selected the area of the lens of these glasses so having selected that then I press ctrl enter and then I press delete so as to delete that area which I selected out of the line uh, line layer so we have this now So let's continue with let's just Okay now we're gonna use stroke parts check these blocks simulate spray the reason why we're using stimulate pressure is that we don't want the line to be thick out we want it to start thin and then tick in the middle then end thin again so that's the reason why we're using this stroke part and the stimulus spray so down to this we're gonna make it look somehow let's move on so moving on next thing we want to do now is that we want to open a new layer ctrl shift n and then we name the new layer we name it skin that's where we're gonna be pouring our skin paints um, send it back on that 
So you want to select this to this magic one too. You want to select the selections. Oh, I mean, excess selection. You want to select the line up. Okay, so the next thing you want to do now is I want to come to select, come down to modify, and then expand. And then you want to expand the selection by four. So come down to screen, select. Okay, now, next thing we want to do now is that we want to duplicate this image layer. What we actually want to do is that we want to add shadows to our cartoon. But for a quicker cartoon in Photoshop, I found out a trick that can be very, very helpful. And I want to share it with you guys. I've been using it for a couple of weeks now, um, let's say months, and it's been helping me. So pending the time I get another trick and making fast cuts on another Photoshop. So I'll be sharing you my updates every time. So what I wanna do now is that I wanna duplicate these layers, these lines, this picture layer. I'm sorry, this picture layer. So to do that, you can just drag the image here down to this page here and then release. So it duplicates it. Or better still, you can press Ctrl J and then it duplicates it again so you select the duplicated layer come down to filter down to filter gallery and then you want to use a filter called poster edges so i was just playing with my photoshop one day and then i school this cool filter here so what this filter does is that it shows you the exact place where the shadow is so looking at this one now you can see there's a dark shadow here yeah this place is black though it was follow the exact way the filter did the shadows can actually create your own but i'm making tutorials on how to cast your images fast with other photoshop so that's why i'm sharing you this trick so you can see this place is the highlight this place is light and so let's just eat okay so what i wanna do now is that we're going to open a new layer um, this new layer is going to be called shadows shadows well we're going to be using more than one layer for our shadow we're going to be making the one for the deepest the deeper and the deep any way you want to name it spot it's much you must be able to identify that okay this one is the one meant for the deepest shadows this one is the one meant for highlights and the likes so what i want to do now is that let's start with this one Let's select this one and then let's add a shadow on our shadow layer. We're gonna use our pencil to select it. Um, see, it's actually cool. We'll see the end results when I'm done with this production. So, we can actually use this anytime you wanna cut on your picture with Adobe Photoshop. Oh, 
haven't I oh I've selected the you have to be careful so as not to select the wrong no, just like I did. So let's just okay. So moving on, you can just simply come then. So what I want to do now is I want to add the shadow. Come down to the pure part, color. Let's select this one. Okay, see what we have here. Okay now, I haven't selected that, let's check for another one, let's open a new layer for the deep. Okay, so
Okay, so we're moving on. We're moving on. Um, let's let's make raised bodies for these glasses. So select it and then come here, modify. That's the way. I mean the line. Okay. Present in the gap. This is just a simple manner, but let's just try and get something out of this one. Making it real quick. Okay, I think that's done. Let's let's try to see something. Let's try to see something. Oh well, oh well. It looks good actually. Uh, so let's let's try and see something. I just want to test this out.
Okay. Um, I think. So now that we we done with this, let's get 